If you've done the Victor and Shadowbeak fight, then you might have realized it has a certain move that doesn't appear anywhere else in the game. This move is called Dark Wisp, and it's one of the strongest attacks in the game. But the problem usually with Dark Wisp is that it doesn't naturally occur anywhere, so this skill is exclusive to Victor and Shadowbeak. It is actually possible to get this skill on your own pals. And it's something that I would say is definitely worth getting. So if you decide you want to move this to a super strong pal that can also have passive traits and be bred like Frostalion Noct or Shadow Beak, I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can make something like this with that skill. This one doesn't have perfect passives, but it's pretty good. And what you just saw was that skill on a 3 star. If it was 4 star, it would do a lot more damage. Because Black Steed increases dark damage a ton, going from level 4 to 5. And the stats would be higher. I was really wanting to make it 4 star, but my pals decided that they wanted to make this room temperature IQ labor union. Which put me in the difficult spot of not being able to make any more cakes. I would really recommend to do this with Frostalion Noct or Shadow Beak. It's up to you which one to choose. Frostalion Noct does have higher base attack by a decent amount. As well as having more HP. But Frostalion Noct's a little lower on defense. And Shadow Beak also comes with Divine Disaster, which is one of the best moves. As far as their passives, both of them enhance dark attacks when they're mounted, and to my knowledge this boost is the same on either of them. And essentially there are going to be two things we're doing here. Since Victor and Shadow Beak's breeding rarity essentially makes it to where you default to a Chickpea whenever you breed it with something else, you're going to be starting by having Dark Wisp on a Chickpea. And really what you want to do if you're going for a more rare pal is focus on continually passing the move to a more rare pal. I would say start with a legendary or very rare pal like Shadow Beak or Astagon and breed that with Chickpea. And all you're trying to do here is get a parent that is more rare than Chickpea that also has Dark Wisp. Then you can take that result with Dark Wisp and you can breed it with another rare parent like Shadow Beak or Frostalion Noct or a legendary again and then make an even more rare pal. And eventually after a few generations, your pals will have combined rarities enough times to where whatever pal you have that has Dark Wisp will now be able to be used as a parent in your final product. And I'll give a few steps here just to try to make that a little easier to comprehend. Now I'll show you the path that I took to do this, and I'll also link a breeding calculator in the comments so that you can do it with a different pal than I did in case you want to. Also, you can do this with any pal. The exceptions are going to be the legendaries since you can only breed them with themselves. And the exception to that is Frostalion Noct since Frostalion Noct takes two different pals to breed. And I'll also go over briefly how to catch Victor and Shadow Beak at the end of the video. I started out with Victor and Shadow Beak and Frostalion Noct. Really most of the things that you're going to combine with Victor and Shadow Beak is just going to make chickpea. So the reason I picked Frostalion Noct was just because I already had some bread that had some traits I would like to pass down. What's more important is that your second pal is not high level and doesn't have a ton of moves because that's just going to increase your chances of not getting the move that you want. And you already have all these options that Victor and Shadow Beak have that you can potentially pass down. So this is really the most difficult stage to get the move that you want. If you have a second parent other than Victor and Shadow Beak that doesn't have a lot of moves, then that just reduces the pool of moves that you can potentially get. And after a while of breeding, I got a Chickpea that has Dark Wisp. What I did next was I just bred this Chickpea with another Frost Alley on Noct. And again, what's really important here once you're breeding your next round is just to have low level pals. And there are various ways to get these results, but this is a pretty streamlined way by taking a low level or less rare pal and breeding it with the more rare pals. Because essentially we're just trying to combine the rarity of the two and get it closer to something that's more rare. The Frost Alley on Noct and Chickapea just give a chill it. So now that I have this chill it with Dark Wisp, I'm just going to take it and breed it with another Frost Alley on Noct and that will make Sibilix. And I want to emphasize again, I wouldn't be too picky with the passive traits up to this point. 
because really what's going to matter is once you have one at the end and once you reach the end of the line with what you want to breed that is going to have dark wisp or whatever special move you're trying to breed for if you get too caught up in the passives at this point take you significantly longer to get the move you want and the passives but if you're starting with a legendary that already has good passives that's going to give you a huge boost especially if you're trying to get a pal that's way further down the rarity line after getting a Sibilix with Dark Wisp, I'm just going to breed that with Frostalion knocked again, and that's going to give Relaxaurus. At this point, we're really close to the final breed because all we need is Hell's Effort, and then we can make Frostalion knocked. Pretty lucky on this round, and I got Dark Wisp on Relaxaurus in like two tries, so it only took me two breeds to get this one. It does get a lot faster when you have two low level ones breeding, though. So now I just need to breed this one with Frostalion knocked. And this should give me the Hell Zephyr that I need, which will give me my final Frostalion knock. Then having the Hell Zephyr that has Dark Wisp, I just need to breed this with Frostalion to get Frostalion knocked. So this can potentially be the final breed. I would do a level 1 Frostalion, but I'm going for the level 50 because it has a lot of the passives that I want. That's mostly just because I got pretty good RNG, and I have good enough passives on these two to pass on the moves and potentially pass on the passives. Another way to do this is once you get to the final breed, you could attempt to get two that both have the move that you want, and then start looking for the passives, and at that point, you'll be getting the move pretty often, especially if you're breeding level 1s. Breeding those two resulted in this Frostalion knock, which is the same one that I showed earlier. And I'll show you quickly how to get Victor and Shadow Beak. So you just need to commit a crime and get the guards on you. And then fast travel up to the Palgenic Research Tower. Or the Victor and Shadow Beak boss battle. Getting the guards up to level 3 will make this a lot easier because they'll have machine guns. And then you just want to go into the tower. During the cutscene you can actually listen for them shooting. So if you try to skip while they're shooting you have potential to make it immediately shoot them and once you're in the battle you just want to get between them and the guards and then it will run into the corner like this once it's done attacking just throw a sphere at its back and that will catch victor and shadow beak and that's everything